It's dinner time. Time to add the pickles. Thank you, Poland. We always love to eat with our hands, but it's from Zimbabwe. Whoa. Well, it's secret. Wow. Then added some wine. So I'm making fairy bread. It looks incredible. <laughs> Boy, that's good. I have a feeling I'm gonna make this a lot. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm the World's Okayest Mom, and it's that time again. We have done a few weeks of cooking meals from around the world. It's become such a huge part of my family, huge part of my kids' curriculum, and something that you seem to really enjoy. So we're gonna do it again for an entire week. I'm going to cook a different recipe from a different country, and the recipes will be submitted by you. So let's see where we're going this week. I can't wait. This has quickly become one of my favorite things that we do together as a family. If you Is it yours too? This has quickly become one of my favorite things to do as a family. It's really important in terms of getting a full understanding of the dish to understand the history. So that's what we always do with these dishes is we cook the food and then we have a conversation afterwards about the history of the food, the different cultures, the different traditions, and all sorts of fun facts about that country. Now some of these recipes are family recipes that I can't link, but if I have the link, I will share it in the description. And as always, go get a snack. Pause the video, go get a snack. Don't watch this on an empty stomach. You will be super hungry. I'm so excited tonight because I'm making Thai food. It's very noisy in my house. <laughs> I got an amazing recipe for pad krau pao and it sounded incredible. It's a minced pork and holy basil stir fry and it's actually surprisingly simple. I ran into a couple hiccups. So lesson learned, and I should have known this going into it, if I'm ordering on Amazon, check the dimensions. So this recipe requires a mortar and pestle to mash the chilies and the garlic, and I ordered one, and I got one for a doll. So I still think it's big enough to try, um, but yeah, this isn't what I was expecting. But it got the job done. It was tiny and a little more time consuming, but I eventually minced the garlic and the chilies. Then you saute with the minced pork, you add some seasonings, and then at the very end, you throw in your holy basil. My followers said that it tastes really good when it's served with a fried egg. So I served it with rice and a fried egg, and it looked incredible. Yeah, do you like oh, your meat? Baba. Baby. Yeah. Da -da. Daddy. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. That's amazing. Mm. This is going in our regular rotation. This meal is fantastic and so easy. And so fancy. Mm. I sent a picture to my follower. They said it looked really good. And so dipping my toes into cooking Thai food with this recipe was really awesome because it was something I felt like I could totally accomplish. All right, today's meal is going to heavily rely on these guys. Pickle soup. Now something that sounds a little different, but ended up being super delicious, was pickle soup that we made from Poland. So pickle soup is essentially a potato soup that uses grated pickles and pickle juice to give it a really nice salty tang. Okay, so now I'm going to grate my pickles. Oh my gosh, and Henry will not stop trolling. Is You're pulling my pants made? off, Henry. Time to add the pickles and juice. And then at the very end, to make it a little more creamy, you temper some sour cream, which means you take a little of the hot broth, mix it in with the sour cream little by little so that the sour cream doesn't curdle. Yum, looking good. When it was finally done and plated, it looked like a gorgeous potato soup. I am really excited to try it. I love pickles. Mm. I taste the potatoes, amazing. Mm, I like it. Thank you, Poland. I know it sounds odd because pickles are typically so cold. The thought of serving them hot in a soup might sound a little strange, but trust me when I say, it's so good. Whoa, it's creamy. The pickles are not overwhelming. I will 100% be making this again. Next up, I decided to finally try making one of the most requested dishes of all time 
for this series. I tried my hand at biryani from Pakistan. I scored my chicken and marinated it in a yogurt and spice blend. Meanwhile, I soaked my rice and it's this interesting way of par cooking it before you actually cook it so it soaks for 30 minutes and gets a little tender and then you cook it in the biryani. Got my little pot of spices and we're gonna toast them and that really brings out the spice flavor and scent. It really makes them aromatic. So after I cooked my onions and my chicken and I added my rice, the recipe called for me to pour water around the edges of the pot and then one final cup in the middle. And I've never used that technique before. I think maybe it helps the water absorb more evenly through all the food. Maybe if you're just pouring it in the center, it doesn't get to the sides enough. So then I covered it and I cooked it and then I served it up. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Is it hot? Mm -hmm. Did you take too big of a bite? How many thumbs up? Two. Good job. Take a smaller bite. Oh my gosh, what is up with you guys? <gasps> Whoa, I think I need to make it again. I wasn't expecting to nail this, and I didn't. I think I had a good first try, but I definitely need to try more. What's this called? Biryani. Mm -hmm. I've had biryani. This is really good. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Excuse me, I said good morning. <laughs> so I'm making fairy bread. It looks so fun for kids, it's just bread with butter and sprinkles. I have my butter on my toast. I'm just gonna sprinkle. This is sticking surprisingly well. For me, it's really important that we all try something new with each recipe, so we made Vegemite toast as well. Vegemite is a yeast extract. It's kind of like a thick spread. Very salty, hard to describe. I'm excited to try this. Okay, let's spread it around. We're gonna go light and then we can always add more, right? Some people are very dramatic about Vegemite and so I was really curious to try it because to me it's just an ingredient. No big. Go ahead and give it a try, let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Wyatt, give it a try. <gasps> mm. How is it? The sprinkles add a lot of flavor. I did some butter. Mm, good. I'm falling in love with some family toast. And it is really fun. It's something they're gonna ask for in the future for sure. And it makes your breakfast feel like a dessert when it's not too desserty. Try the Vegemite toast. Mmm. Mmm. It's somehow mm. good. Mmm. It's really good. What does it taste like? It's kind of sour. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is actually a really good amount of Vegemite. You just need a little because it's so flavorful. This is fantastic. So thank you Australia for upping our toast game. We have two new toasts that we get to make and they're super delicious. Hi Hannah, I'm Matilda from Zimbabwe. I would love for you to try my dish of peanut butter with rice. It's known as rice in it over in Zimbabwe and it's a very popular dish that um, most households have. And every Sunday we used to have it with my grandmother. Hope you enjoy, bye. It's dinner time. Tonight's dish sounds absolutely incredible. It's from Zimbabwe. I'm making peanut butter rice. I'm also pairing it with a chicken stew. My followers so kindly sent me two recipes. I'm gonna bring this to a boil. This is my chicken, garlic, salt, curry powder, water, and I'm gonna boil this for two hours. So this is a rice that's mixed with unsalted peanut butter. You mix it in at the end, and it gets really evenly coated and gets this really creamy, kind of tan color to the rice. Now my follower also told me that they typically eat this dish with their hands. They said I could use a fork, but we always love to eat with our hands when the dish calls for it. Mmm, mmm, this is amazing. <laughs> mm. I love this chicken. Mm, mm, mm. I love Ooh, it. Look who else loves. Ooh. Oh, Henry's probably better than all of us at eating with hands. You do it every day. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Wow. This is amazing. Whoa. This rice is so good. This recipe was such a hit and truly if you haven't tried peanut butter rice, go make it right now. It is 
so good. Thank you. Zimbabwe. 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 We're gonna talk about Zimbabwe tonight after we're finished eating. Okay. Zimbabwe is not a country in their curriculum this far. It's not a country they had even heard of. And so it's so important as parents for us to bring this awareness and do the teaching ourselves and get our kids to have appreciation and understanding of countries that they might not be learning about in school. Today we are sticking to the United States actually. First time we've done a little bit of dip. First time we've done this in an Around the World episode, we're gonna make a US dish from Rhode Island. We're making wieners all the way. <laughs> It's, it sounds funny, but it looks really good, and it's a very secret recipe. Wieners All The Way is a very specific, very secretive, really like cult following hot wiener. Everything is really, really specific that goes into it. From the buns, to the wiener, to the toppings. So it's a steamed bun, it's a hot wiener, not hot dog, hot wiener. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been hanging out with my kids too much. It's not a hot dog, it's a hot wiener. And then it's topped by hot dog chili. So I steamed my buns, I boiled my weenie. <laughs> I like talking about this dish. And then I got to work on my chili. It's, well it's secret. I can't tell you what's in it. But it's a lot of seasonings and some of them you might be surprised to find in a hot dog chili. I thought this recipe would be pretty safe with the kids. The one wild card was it has to have onions on it. And that is one of the ingredients that my kids get a little diva about. Really good. Mm. I love hey, it. Hey. Mm. It's amazing, guys. Mm. Steaming the bun. So good. This is better than ribs. It's better than ribs? Mm. What? Ribs is your favorite food. I guess we got a new favorite food in the house. Looks good. Mm. Hot dog, beef. Mm -hmm. Onions. No, that's a good hot dog. I was also really nervous about this one too because it is so particular. I'm even afraid to show you this because I'm afraid I will get ripped to shreds by people who are so obsessed with this wiener. Like people get really touchy about wieners. There, there's no good way for me to talk about this. I'm gonna keep making this, especially if it's Wyatt's favorite food. And hopefully one day we get to go to Rhode Island and eat it there ourselves. All right, I'm making pasta Genovese today and I'm really excited because when I think of Italian pasta sauce, I think of tomatoes. And this one has no tomatoes. I started with a mirepoix, which is diced onion, carrot, and celery. It's a great starter for a lot of different sauces. Then I added my meat, added some stock, let it simmer forever, then added some wine, let that simmer forever. One hour down, smells fantastic. So we're actually gonna be eating this tomorrow because by the time it's finished, it's gonna be like 9 p.m. I didn't realize it's three hours of simmering and then another hour. And then I realized I used wine in it, so maybe not the best idea for me to serve it to the boys. So Matt and I just ended up eating it ourselves. It's divine. It is next level delicious. Mmm, the meat's really super tender. It's amazing. It's good cold weather food. Matt was obsessed with this sauce. These sauces are intense. They're very, very refined. And so I was really excited to do a good job making that sauce. Now looking back at this week, it was really amazing because I feel like I was challenged a little bit more than other weeks. I feel like some of these dishes were very clear starting points for me to keep digging deeper and keep learning and keep trying. I think food is a beautiful introduction to learning more. So I wanna thank everyone who submitted a recipe. There are only seven that I can use in the video, but I get hundreds of recipes and I save all of them. So I really appreciate all of the suggestions, all of the thought and care that goes into sending these recipes. It really has helped my kids grow and transform in a huge way. So that's all for now. I'm Hannah, and if you've tried this with your kids, what did you make and how did it go? And if you have any recipes from where you live that you want me to try, send them my way. Even when I'm not filming, I still cook them and I try them and I so appreciate them. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I think it's time for me to try making biryani again. Uh, hopefully I do better this time. Uh, Till next time.